What's up everybody? It's your boy Jack here. Welcome to another video here on the China Crew channel. On this channel, we walk, talk, explore, and defend China. A few weeks ago, we discussed the CCPCC members proposing visa-free work and travel to Hainan province, this place. Now it seems they're expanding their scope to reform and boost development of Hainan province free trade port by increasing the duty-free shopping quota for all visitors to the island. Moving to a new country can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. In this series, we'll take you by the hand and show you exactly how to survive. The Ministry of Finance, the General Administration of Customs, and the State Taxation Administration said in a statement on Monday that individuals will be allowed to make duty-free purchases of 100,000 yuan, that's about $14,000, every year compared with 30,000 yuan right now. The categories of duty-free goods will also be expanded from the current 38 varieties to 45, with some electronic products such as smartphones, laptops, game players, and wine products being added to the duty-free lists. The duty-free shopping policy was introduced in 2011 to help Hainan develop a world-class international tourism destination, and the shopping quota has been upgraded since then gradually. Offshore duty-free shopping volumes stood at 53.8 billion yuan, and the number of buyers amounted to 16.31 million by the end of 2019, according to data from the local customs authorities. The move shows that the central authorities are now only using policy tools to meet tourists' spending desire and further stimulate their purchasing power in Hainan, but also injecting fresh momentum to the province's service sector, including airlines, cruises, conferences, and exhibitions, catering and hospitality businesses to drive cross-industry collaboration development, said Liang Ming, a researcher with the Beijing-based Chinese Academy of International Trade and Economic Cooperation. He said this is part of the country's efforts to put in place economic and trade rules that match global standards. This has sent important signal that China is fully capable of adopting proactive policies and promoting vigorous institutional innovation while mitigating the impact caused by COVID-19 epidemic. The expanded quota policy, especially the lifting of the 8,000 yuan limit on a single duty-free product, will unlock the consumption power of high-end Chinese consumers, attract Chinese residents who will otherwise go shopping overseas to buy international brands. To Hainan Island, said Shi Xiangxiang, an associate professor of tourism at Hainan University. He said duty-free shopping is expected to become the new blockbuster growth point for Hainan's tourism industry. Four duty-free shops are currently in operation in Hainan, with two in Haiku, the provincial capital, one on the eastern coast of the island, and one in Sanya, a coastal resort city at the southern tip of Hainan province. A new duty-free shopping city is under construction on the western coast in Haiku, spread over 926 thousand square meters and entailing an investment of 12.86 billion yuan. It will be a new shopping paradise when completed in 2023. Lu Zilian, head of the General Administration of Customs Sanya branch, said Hainan has benefited from its visa-free access for 59 nations by tapping into the local tourism boom and the Hainan free trade ports greater connectivity. Customs authorities will continue to upgrade supervision over e-commerce activities to help consumers purchase more duty-free products. The Ministry of Finance said on Tuesday that companies registered in Hainan Free Trade Port and operating businesses in areas encouraged by the government can enjoy lower corporate income tax rate of 15 percent, which is lower than the general level of 25 percent for most companies in the country. For foreign companies, income earned through the newly increased direct investment in tourism, modern services and high-tech industries in the port, the corporate income tax will be exempt. If you invest in the government's plan, you don't pay tax. Isn't that great? The Ministry of Finance and the country's tax authorities also clarified that income tax exemptions would be given to high-end and most needed talents. All the favorable tax policies are effective until 2024 and seek to support the development of the Hainan free trade port. I'm certainly very interested in seeing what is going to happen in Hainan next. Previously, we talked about not having to not having to have a visa to go work there or travel there. Now you can buy all your international brands right here in China at a huge discount. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and share it with your friends. This is Jack signing up from Xi'an. I'll see you in the next one. Xie xie.